Hey guys, I'm Lord Gears here. You know me. And, uh, well, this is one of my brand new backgrounds. Um, and, uh, shout out to GFX Turf. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. Sign up, uh, if you're in GFX and, you know, be good. Alright, BG tutorial today. I don't really know what number. And, uh, it's gonna be something like this. It's really easy to do. I get all my picks off of, um, uh, Alpha coders, or just type in wall paper of this, and right there. <coughs> Let's go to uh, any of these categories. <coughs> All right, I'm kind of sick. So. First off, you want to open up your new template, which I'm just gonna open up. Uh, let's see, yep, open up a template. Uh, Alright, let me just open this up because I had it open. Alright, there we go. Alright, you go in here and find some pictures. There's my pictures I have already. I got this retro thing. Right here. I'm just going to put it on there. And uh, I'm just going to put it to the corner and click Control T. Keep holding Control and just drag it so it doesn't. Um, Pick pixels. Then um, you want to take this layer, put it behind the middle layer, so it's behind it. Now you can pick any colors. For my uh, last one, I did like this color and that color, and uh, like light blue and dark gray. This tutorial, I'm gonna do um, red and gray for GFX turf. So I'm do a uh, dark red and gray. Click on that. Gradient over there. Dark red. And uh, you can leave it like that, but I'm going to put a negative 90 so it comes down. Then let's go to color, hue, and I'm just going to leave it at color. Alright then, you're going to get your second picture. I got this picture. It's uh, some somewhat like a moon, I guess. And yeah. And uh, I'm just going to take this, take this. I really don't want the moon in there, so I'm just going to cut it off. And yeah. And you just want to put it to the side. And don't worry about that uh, fade right there. It's fine. Just leave it all. Control T, same thing. Um, put it out. I know this is just turning the pixels a lot, but it'll turn out nice. Don't worry. Alright then, you want to do the same thing. I don't have to turn out, so yeah, that looks good. Go to your blending options, go to luminosity, and just keep on going up until you find a good, a good one. That looks good. Sorry, mask, but yeah, it's my BG. And also, props not the mask because he made this uh, he made this uh, template, which is really good and uh, looks pretty good. All right, then you want to get your third image, which I got this uh, this image right here, like the uh, lightning bolt of some sort. <laughs> remember, they can all be found right here, right here. So just remember that. So. All right, then you just want to do the same exact thing. Boom. Bring it down. Bring it over. And uh, bring that down to right there. And it's pretty much a repeating process. That's pretty much what all it is. And you just have to find the right blending modes for each of them. And you go to Hue, Velocity. I like that better. And you want to go to Blending Options, Velocity. Good one. That looks okay right there. I like that. And uh, 
what's this one? Yeah, I like that right there. I mean, is that white up there? And it, it looks pretty good. Our fourth picture, which is uh, the middle, middle, uh, middle, you, you know, this uh, this part right here at the end. Yeah, the middle. <laughs> um, just want to put the tree. Well, I, I really don't like the tree, but the tree gives it some um, gives it some uh, different different and it gives it a uh, part of the wild. And uh, that's that's why I like it. So you just want to drag it over the uh, the center center panel. And this, uh, this, this is very important. You can go up to, uh, no, no, just layer, layer, create clipping mask, all control G. Or you can just, uh, right click and go to create clipping mask. I like the right click, so I just want to go to blending options and not blending options, but gradient of the and until you find a nice this color see that blends in pretty good and uh, you can redo the rim and take off stroke we'll go to color overlay and just make it make it white it just looks good I think and um, for, for text and um, a lot of people out there don't know how to do 3d text in um, Photoshop which is it, it's very easy fairly easy um, all you have to do is type in uh, Type in what you're going to type in. Uh, and, um, all right, now, now is a very important step. A lot of people don't know this. I'm going to go to the corner tool, press Alt, and make sure you're on the layer, and press your right, up, down, or left arrow keys set six or seven times. So you got like six or seven times. Then you're going to go to and just group these all up by holding Control and tapping on them. Then go to Control E. Bring this above here and click on the layer. Go to that, go to that. And as you can see, it's like that. Then press OK. Then go to your second layer. And just do the same thing. But this time, make the uh, reverse. As you can see, like that, see it? And uh, I messed up on this part, so I'm not going to do a double contract. And um, to make it a nice 3D effect, which that looks like a good 3D effect right there, you just want to go to contour and see it makes it nice. Or you can, you, then you can do like an outer glow if you wanted to. Now, to group them, uh, control, click on both, control E, so you can move them around this one. And uh, guys, that's pretty much it. So, message me if you want a background. I'll make them for free because uh, I'm trying to get a partner with somebody else. And uh, I think I, I think I can make it, but I don't know. Nobody knows except God. So uh, yeah, peace out.